Hi, I'm David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now we've been studying the book of Haggai and how Haggai is ministering during a very difficult time of Israel's history. The kingdom of Judah for the past hundred years or so has been just shaken to the core. Uh, the whole land is war-torn. The temple has been destroyed. <laughs> it's a mess. But the Lord is encouraging his people that if you'll just put me first and rebuild my house, I'm going to bless you. And so he promised them, and we dealt with this uh, in yesterday's video. He said, listen, I'm going to fill my house with glory. And that's what we long for, to go into God's house and experience his presence, the glorious presence of Jesus. And the Lord promises that he's going to do that to a people oh, who put him first above all other things, above themselves. Put me first because... I'm going to fill my house with glory if you do. Well, that was yesterday's lesson in, in basically. But today I want to share with you the fact that the Lord gave uh, a prophecy to Haggai that was specifically to um, Zerubbabel. Listen to this. Haggai chapter 2 verses 20 through 23. On that day, declares the Lord of hosts, I will take you, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shealtiel, declares the Lord, and make you like a signet ring. For I have chosen you, declares the Lord of hosts. Now, the signet ring is important here because that shows authority. This would really have only been worn by the ruler, by the king. But there wasn't a king in um, uh, the kingdom of Judah at that time because the whole nation was ruled over by the Persians, the Medea Persians, um, Darius, in fact. But yet the Lord has not forgotten his promise to David. He said, I will always uphold your throne because your throne is going to be the throne of the Messiah. But it's very interesting that the Lord is now speaking of passing this signet ring, which speaks of authority, of kingship, and he's passing this signet ring on to Zerubbabel. Well, that's not who it would normally have gone to. Because, see, the ruler of David normally would have continued through Jehoiakim to his son, Jehoiachin. However, we find that as we read about Jehoiakim and Jehoiachin, can that they were wicked men. They had not lived for the Lord, even though they were rulers and sat up on the throne of David. And so what does the Lord do? He passes the signet ring on to Zerubbabel, who was also a descendant of David, but it doesn't go according to the way that we would have thought. We would have thought that the signet ring would have been given by the Lord to Jehoiachin, but no, because Jehoiachin was rebellious, sinful. He disregarded the Lord. Thus, the promise of God to David was fulfilled, yes, but it was fulfilled through Zerubbabel instead of Jehoiachin. You see, that teaches us we can't think that no matter how many prophecies God has given us, that we can just live any way that we want to, that we can be rebellious, disobedient, live wickedly, sinfully, and still have those promises fulfilled. Oh, no. The Lord is looking for those through whom he can fulfill his promises. And so he looked throughout David's natural line, and he found Zerubbabel. Yeah, Zerubbabel had messed up a little bit, and, but he received the Lord's rebuke. And the Lord says, if you'll put me first, then I'm going to fulfill my promise to David through you. God has many promises that he's going to fulfill. Can he fulfill them through you? 